Hey everyone, welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I am Adrian, and today on the Foundations of Yoga, we are learning Virabhadrasana 3, or Warrior 3. This is a balancing posture. It is a um, full body strengthener. There's a ton of benefits, uh, but really I love this posture because it's about being fierce uh, while also being graceful. Gracefully and grandfully. Oh my God, if you know what movie that's from, leave it in the comment box below and I will love you forever. Let's learn Warrior Three. Alrighty, so we're gonna learn this in three parts today. Um, we're gonna come to a runner's lunge to begin. So no fancy swan dive or anything. Again, we're just kind of breaking down the, the basics to learn the foundations of this posture. And I like getting into it from, the, from kind of the earth up, from the ground up. It gives us a chance to really connect to our center and of course build a strong foundation. So let's take the right leg forward, left leg back, and lift that back knee up and just stretch it out. Take a deep breath in here. We do have a runner's lunge foundations uh, video. I think you should check it out. Obviously, but I'm partial. No. And then we're going to plant that back foot whenever you're ready. Keep a deep bend in the front knee, so nice stacking of ankle and knee. And then we'll slowly roll it up. So I want you to roll it up today to feel this connection to center. So tailbone lengthens down, navel draws in, and we roll it up. Back leg is nice and strong. All right, so I'm engaging from the ground up. Now bring your awareness to that front foot here. Strong back leg still, but bring your awareness to the front foot. We're gonna really press into all four corners of the feet. So the back two corners of the heels, and then the ball joint of the big toe and the ball joint of the pinky toe. So we kind of come to these yogi toesies here. Uh, four part equals standing. We have a video for that too, which I think is really helpful for standing postures. So check that out. Okay, now I can reach my hands up in warrior if I wanna just kind of shine and feel good, or I can keep my hands on the waistline. Take a deep breath in here spread awareness, press into that front foot strong. Navel draws in slightly, we inhale. Think up with the crown of the head, up with the heart. Keep this upward movement, or this is kind of energetic lift, as you peel the back heel up and step halfway in. Woo. So I'm finding that opposition, which is truly what my Hatha Yoga is all about, right? Finding places to ground as I find places to lift. So pressing into that front foot. Now I'm gonna have a soft bend in this front knee and I'm just gonna play with a little buoyancy. So this might seem weird at first, especially if you're new to the practice, you're like, what are we doing, Adrian? Freak! And that's okay, you can think that. But I highly recommend you find this as kind of buoyancy. Feel strong front foot as we kind of find this lift and lengthen up through the front body. Now inhale in and on a swift exhale, bend both knees, lift that back leg. We're not here yet, okay guys? Chill, chill. In fact, I'm gonna step back just a little bit. Just chill, nice focus on the foundation. So a soft bend in the front knee, and now I'm just checking in again with that front foot again. So before we even get to here, guys, spread awareness through all four corners of that front foot. Draw the navel in towards the spine, shoulders away from the ears. Find places where you can lift and lengthen, and of course, places where we can ground. I'm not locking that standing leg here, but rather keeping a soft bend in the knee. So soft awareness as my muscles wrap around to support. Okay, belly's gonna come out here, and we're gonna start to get crazy. Draw the navel in. You might even uh, spiral the lower rib cage. Draw the lower rib cage in just to support with your center. Hands come to the waistline here, and now we bring our awareness to this back thigh. We might just lift the toes up here for now and slowly begin to work from here to here. Okay, so you might just be here. You might be at a wall. Um, rather than coming into the full posture right away, work on creating a full body experience. I can't, just can't say that enough, like it's so important. And then one day you'll, you'll be so in that full body experience that you'll soar in this insane warrior three and you'll be like, ah, working from the inside out, right on. Ways to play. Bring your awareness to this back thigh. Rather than imagine hoisting your foot up, keep the hips level and see if you can kind of bring awareness to this back thigh, lifting from the back thigh. So we hoist our body up, we throw our body around all day long. In yoga, we get a chance to really work with integrity. So consider that here in this balancing posture. So don't rush it. 
Charging that back thigh or bringing awareness there. So we're not just lifting from the foot, but we're keeping the hips level. So maybe dropping that left uh, hip here. Chest is open, supportive in the center. We can stay here, gaze is strong, uh, or we can reach the fingertips forward. Take a deep breath in, feel it out. Then slowly we'll bring the back foot down, come back to warrior one and release the arms. Rock on. Okay, we're gonna try one more time, this time with a little variation. And this is my favorite way to teach Warrior Three. I just think it's really great in terms of finding that opposition that is eventually going to support. So here we go again. Hands come to the waistline. Soft bend in the knee, awareness in that front foot. Step the foot in if you haven't already. Find a nice little bounce here. It's like, what's that, sissy bounce? Lord, we can't have that on the show. Not today, anyway. Uh, but I'm a fan. I wish I could move like those sissy bouncers, man. Maybe someday. Okay, warrior three. <laughs> Soft bend in the knee, inhale in. On a swift exhale, take that buoyant energy, that buoyant quality, and press away. Now, press is actually the perfect word for this next variation. I'm gonna level the hips, draw my navel in, keep that extension through the crown. Again, don't worry about being in the perfect shape for now. Just worry. In fact, I, I can impress you with my warrior three, but I don't want to. I want us to kind of find that integrity as we slowly build up to a nice, strong, and supportive Virabhadrasana three. So this time I'm gonna send my fingertips back. It's funny, I'm on a creaky wood now. Creaky plank. Soft bend in the knee. Now think about that back inner thigh. All right, now this time imagine you're pressing the palms into the earth. So in fact, imagine that the earth came up to here and in class I would come and maybe give you a little resistance. So imagine that you're pressing away. So just like we do in our twists when we find kind of little resistance there, see if you can find a little resistance here. And again, you can do this without even lifting that back toe. So if you're a super beginner and you wanna you know, give it a try anyway. So I go from here to pressing away, really finding that lift and lengthen, that marriage of strength, but also length and grace. Might be here, might be here. Again, I'm pressing into imaginary floor here, kind of like Superman. Once you have your resistance here, you might begin to slowly come to here, and we breathe. Breathe, can't believe I'm on this crickety piece of wood. Perfect, one more breath. And then we softly bend that front knee, step it back to warrior one. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Tadasana. Whew. All right, let's try the other side. Same thing. We're gonna break it on down starting uh, with our runner's lunge. This time the left foot's forward, of course, right foot back. Take a second to just get into it. <sighs> Breathe. <sighs> Breathe with me now. Okay, plant the back foot. Again, for today, rather than, um, well, for today, I encourage you, I invite you to tuck the tailbone and roll it up. This just reminds me that I'm kind of anchoring through the feet, drawing energy up through the arches and connecting to my center of gravity, which is like obviously so necessary for this warrior three. And just so good for the back and for the whole body. So take a second here to just check in. Again, if you want to reach the fingertips up to your warrior one, shine on, babes, shine on. And then we'll bring the fingertips to the waistline. Soft bend in the knees here. I lift the back heel up and step it in halfway. I'm going to come to the center of my mat again. Soft bend here. Bring your awareness to that front foot, just like we did before. So we're going to have this woo thing. See if you can spread awareness through all four corners of the feet. Press down and then find places to lift up. Now, here we go again, sissy bounce. Just kidding, not that. Everyone's gonna be Googling sissy bounce if they don't know already, and they'll be like, oh my God. <sighs> That's pretty cool. Okay, soft bend, we find a buoyancy. Let's grab a drishti, a little focus, something to set our gaze on in front, and then we might lift that back leg up. Notice I'm not locking this front leg. Might be like big toenail on the ground, you guys. There's no right or wrong. Let's really do this, it's like, have integrity and be in our bodies. That's called self-love too. It's a great practice. So navel draws in, woo. Take it nice and slow, draw the shoulders away from the ears. 
Now we might begin to lift the back leg. And again, I encourage you, rather than just considering lifting this back foot, consider everything from your center, from your foundation. So I'm leveling that right hip. I'm bringing my awareness to that right inner thigh as I drop the hip, spiral it up towards the sky. Now hands can stay on the waistline here. Maybe you can take this variation of sternum to thumbs, which is nice. Neck is nice and long, not crunching. And then maybe we just experiment with reaching the fingertips out. Maybe we're at the wall here too. Check in with the shoulders, the hips, breathe, breathe, breathe. And softly bending back to warrior one we go. Take a deep breath in and exhale, float it down. Okay, let's try the second variation with the palms pressing away from the earth. Ready? Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Let's give it a try. So again, we can be on that big toe. We could just practice balance here. Baby steps. I mean, this is about practice, right? My favorite Patabi Joyce quote, practice and all is coming. It's just so simple, so true, and really beautiful. Good reminder. Okay, we'll send the fingertips back. Again, find that imaginary piece. Let's imagine like a piece of plexiglass or something here, pressing up. So you're literally pressing into that imaginary piece of glass. Or imagine my palm coming in, sneaking in there to press against. Creating full body experience, nice, strong awareness from the crown of the head to the tip of the tailbone. In time, it's hard to do this in talk, sorry. In time, we can get to where, you know, we start to level things out and really play and even twist. But just, just honor where you're at today. That's what the foundations of yoga are all about too. Getting somewhere by honoring where you're at now. We might drop the hips. Again, pressing, finding that resistance. And then we might just check it out. Might even interlace the fingertips here. We breathe, we breathe, we breathe. Wherever we're at, we breathe. And then we release. Reaching the fingertips up, take a deep breath in. And exhale, float the fingertips and let's down and let's slide that back foot up. We did it! Alrighty, so that was Warrior 3. Awesome job, everyone. So if you're feeling a little discouraged after that, or maybe you're feeling awesome, then that's great. But if you're feeling a little like, mm, I, I just want to remind you that it's all about the practice, baby. That's why we're doing this. This is a fierce pose. If you're wanting to take your practice to the next level, this will be a great thing to tackle. Like try to do it once every day. Just give this video a go, or maybe three or four times a week. In fact, you can add, click the Add To tab below, favorite the video so it's easier to find, make sure you like it. and and then return to it. So it's about the return on home. And it, I really think that if you, you know, experiment with that and practice with that, you will be surprised how fast the body changes and how you will fly like a fierce warrior in no time. Sorry, my arms probably went out of frame there. Bad actor. Not that I'm acting here, but okay. Um, TMI, love you guys. Leave questions, comments below, please. Uh, appreciate. Uh, all your feedback thus far and if you have any requests send them in. We'll see you next time. Namaste.